Carl and Damon here from Games Brains and Headbang Life, GBHBL.com for sure. And as they made what into a TV series, Viva Pinata, filled with fun. We're almost at the end. Se se uh, season 2, episode 24. And if Hustachio, who never was, and Fergie drops out. So, if you've been following along, it sounds like segment 1 is another Hudson mm. episode. But it sounds like Fergie makes his grand return in segment yeah. number 2. Two. Both aired September 15th, 2007. Segment one, you know how this goes. We talk him through. The stash show he never was. All right, I am now sick of Hudson. This is too many in a row. It's a lot, yeah. Uh, we've had a lot of them recently, and this is another segment about him. This time, it's about the fact that Pester is constantly trying to capture him. Hudson is grabbed by Pester and the ruffians, but it turns out to be Langston and some worms as robots. They reveal to him that they are in, they are in the Pinata Protection Program and that he is high at high risk for Pester's kidnapping. They have plans for a new machine that Pester is planning to use in Hudson. Hudson needs to go into hiding forever, and they are going to create a new identity for him. After some silliness, they settle on an identity that makes him look like a nerd. Hudson's not happy to see how he looks now, and even Langston mocks him. But he's convinced it'll work as Pester won't be looking for this kind of hustachio. Some time later, Hudson tries as new identity and introduces himself as Hubert to his friends. Langston is on his case, but doing and not doing anything Hudson's though, and Hubert ends up looking like a fool as he dances. This continues at the beach with some female piñatas. Hudson is due at an event, but Simone announces he won't be attending as she doesn't know where he is. This is the cue for Hermano Hostachio to arrive, a Zorro-style character, and a new identity that Hudson has created to replace Hubert. Hermano quickly becomes very popular, and everyone quickly forgets Hudson, but that just makes him angry. He wants to be a Hudson, but he can't be. This segment feels like it's like a part two to the previous segment from episode 23, yeah. where everyone forgot Hudson existed. Mm -hmm. Like, almost like the same idea was used, but in this relation instead. Yeah. As Hermano's popularity continues to spike, he tries to win them back over to, to Hudson by giving out Hudson-related gifts. Noah's and Presto and actually burn them in front of Hermano. Sick of this, Hudson decides to throw the towel in against Langston's advice. Noah's that Pesta hasn't been seen since his start. He pulls up the skies and reveals who he is, only to be snatched immediately by Pester. They got me there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was yeah, how absolutely. immediate it is. It's literally like, I am Hudson. Yeah, Boom. <laughs> Everyone gives chase, including uh, the PPP. I wrote it as PPP. I was like, why do I write PPP? Pinata Protection Program yeah. in uh, Pester and Ruffian Robots. Of course, Hudson is rescued and Pester ends up under Ella, of course, because it's, it's still Viva Pinata. Hudson demands to know why his friends turn against him and Paulie spins a lie about them knowing all along. Hudson, happy to believe this, accepts it and demands to carry him like a star, which is all they do while grumbling. So nobody comes off looking good at the end of this segment. They look like pricks because they immediately gave up on their friend. I mean, it, 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 and then he looks like a prick because not only does he know yeah. the lying, but he's like, oh, I don't care as long as they love me, but now they're going to carry me? Yeah. They're, they're always dicks to him. They're always dicks to each other for the well, most yeah, part. Yeah, exactly, yeah. This is an incredibly forgettable segment. Yeah. Uh, I Reading my notes, I don't really remember a lot about this either. So this uh, this is not one I would praise at all. Apart from that funny scene. That Apart from that, that the, 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 the which only, seconds. yeah, like which is like a brief, not even ten, well, yeah, a couple seconds, of seconds, yeah, yeah. it's forgettable at best. Which brings us to segment two, Fergie drops out. We're back to Fergie being the focus and his desperation to not get sent to a party. To be fair, I was at least like, you know what, it's, it's been a while. It's different, yeah. It's been a while. We see the Cannonata in operation and the Happy Piñatas being sent to parties. However, Fergie arrives and basically wrecks the place. Langston gets a call from the big boss, believing it's the fault of all the Piñatas orders a party re-education course for the entire island. So the big boss figures the Piñatas have got lazy and they're all to blame for this and like, no, it's time to remind them what their roles are. On the island, the others are angry with Fergie for what he did, which was good. Be angry. Exactly. You don't have a problem with it. He's the only one that has a problem with it. He's, he's, he's fucking it all up yeah. for you lot. But Fergie doesn't care as he and Paulie are taking a trip. Oh yes, because now we're doing Paulie's not liked parties either. <laughs> they jump into a cab and end up in a desert. With no real plan, they end up collapsing and Fergie sees a group of chostresses approaching. Waking up, Paulie and Fergie find themselves in a commune of chostresses. They're free spirits 
hippies basically and they revealed that they're anti cannonata they live here in a launch free life of course fergie is overjoyed to hear this and you must be thinking like we were where's the catch yeah there's always a catch while they're having fun the rest of the pinatas are having a miserable time in their training seminar at the commune the mention of party scares the chostresses but fergie reveals he's never been in one this impresses the Chostresses and they declare him their master, willing to worship him. And there you go. There's a problem. Yeah. But there is actually another catch. No candy. To be anti-party is to be anti-candy. In fact, they burn candy and insist that Fergie must take part in the burning of candy to live with them. So it's a cult. We've reached a cult. Afterwards, Fergie has slipped into the hippie role and is enjoying being worshipped. Of course, Paulie sees the problems, obviously, Coming as we get a montage of Fergie being worshipped. Sometime later, Paulie arrives with suitcases to tell Fergie, look, you can stay here, but I'm leaving. Fergie's having some candy dreams though and being haunted by a sweet tooth. Waking up, Paulie tries to make them calm, make him calm, but he refuses. And Fergie tries to make Paulie stay and worship him, but he get into a struggle and fall through a streak door behind his throne. They end up in a pit full of candy, realising this is what was going to be burned. Fergie has changed his mind now and wants to save the candy, but his greed gets the better of him. The Chostresses arrive though with torches, and seeing Fergie thinks he's there to start the fire. However, their attempts to run off with candy is discovered, and the pair make a run for it with the Chostresses in pursuit. Of course, Fergie and Paulie are able to escape, but lose their candy, arriving right in the middle of the seminar. Some Chostresses have given chase, but Ella ends up landing on them. And that's how that segment ends. A flat ending, which is a pun on the fact that Ella flattens them. <laughs> um, I didn't mind the idea of this one, but I don't really think there's anything particularly interesting here. I think we did. did, did that, that's our idea. We've had many times before when yeah. they've they gone to a cabin or and then discovered. Yeah, 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 yeah. We've done that a few times before, and having <laughs> chostresses that want to burn candy and this cultish kind of thing. If I could be bothered and go back and watch like the first 10 episodes of season one, I, I swear Paulie used to love going parties. Oh, this was a new thing they wrote in. Sure it is, yeah, 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 this was a new thing they wrote in. I think they realised, oh shit, we can't just, have, we can't just be Fergie. Yeah, have and we got a Paulie. Yeah, yeah. And, but the thing is, Paulie's often the voice of reason mm. for the most part. That's often why he's there because otherwise, how would we get to an end of a segment here? If Paulie doesn't turn around and tell Fergie, look, we're leaving and this is a problem yeah. and this is a problem, we'd never get to the end you, of it. Because yeah. Fergie wouldn't learn lessons. Not that he ever fucking does anyway he doesn't learn one here either really it's not like we end with them i think it would should have been ended with them forced to then go to the parties and stuff like that we're never going to get there unfortunately but there you go it's uh it's a poor it's a poor episode overall yeah it is episode 24 the pistachio never was and fergie drops out you got any thoughts you know what to do let us know in the comments thank you very much for watching if you'd like to see more content like this please consider hitting the subscribe button it is gratefully appreciated you can find us over at gbhbl.com our full website where reviews news and so much more goes up daily we're also on all social media platforms facebook instagram twitter threads at gbhbl just search for gbhbl and you will find us out there we also have merchandise on sale you can access the shop via the website